In this tutorial, you will learn how to use easing for your animations inside of C4 Studio. To demonstrate this, I'm going to create a button that when clicked has a little loading animation and the text is replaced with success. So I've already gone ahead and created a couple of layers. I have a text layer for test. I have a button shape, which is just an outline. I have a layer that's going to animate in inside of the outline. Then I have a layer that will fill in over top of the outline. And I have the layer for success itself. So because I have all of the pieces that I need for my start, we're going to use our C4 Studio plugin to duplicate the artboard. Second artboard we're going to rename to end. And we're going to fade out the fill fade out the success text. But for animate in, I'm actually going to change its value to one pixel width. And I'm going to fade that out as well. This way it will grow or look like a loading bar. And what I want to do actually as well is on the end frame, I want to take my test text and I want to fade it out. Even though you can't see it, that gives me a value of it fading to transparent, so when I'm animating, I have a value to use. So sketch file setup is complete, and we can now save the file. And we can now switch over to C4 Studio. So we're going to open C4 Studio, create a new document, link our sketch file, which is the success button, If it's zoomed in, you can always zoom out using these controls. We're going to link the start state to our start, and we're going to link the end to our end. Now if we hit play, it happens really quickly. But we really want to exaggerate how long it takes, so that it looks like it's some, there is some loading time. So we're going to use the stopwatch to extend our animation to two seconds. And we're going to open the transition so that we can see all the layers that are animating. So first thing we're going to do is change how long it takes for the success text and the test text to do their animations. So I'm going to set up the marker at about a quarter second. And I'm going to use that as a guide for how long the animations should be. This will make sure that my text fading out and text fading in are uniformly the same. We're going to take the success, place it at one and a half seconds, and we're going to take test itself and move it up a little bit. Animate in is our shape scaling. So we're going to take that and actually start it after the test text is faded out. And we want to pull the end of the animation for the animate in layer so that it ends its animation before we fade in the success text. And the fill itself should only happen after the shape has been filled in. So we'll move that to the end as well. Okay. We can scrub to see what the layers look like when they're animating. Or we can also hit space to just watch the two second animation with its timing exact. So it looks pretty good, but we can polish it a little bit more by using some easing. So let's show you how easing works. In this easing column, we have a couple of little icons. What you can see here is a straight line, which means that the layer is going to animate in a linear fashion. If we click on this, we get an overlay that lets us choose between uniform, ease in, ease out, and both ease in and ease out. So for the success text, I'm going to use ease in. For the fill, I'm going to use ease out. For the animate in, I'm going to use ease in and out. And for the test text, I'm going to use ease out. It is easiest to see how the easing works if we focus just on the animate in layer itself. We can see that it starts slow, speeds up, 
and then slows down right before it gets to the end. If we change the animate in to just ease in and then try the animation again, we can see that it starts off slow and then speeds up uniformly right to the end. And we can also test the opposite. We can test easing out and we can see how it starts fast and then slows down right as it's getting to the end. And now that we've tried a couple, it looks like ease out is the nicest looking, so we're going to keep that. Now that we have completed animating this exactly how we want it, we can pass this on to our developer by using export code, or we can use export movie to give it to our client to demonstrate what the success animation would look like.